Hello, Saturni, and welcome to another edition of Hedgehog Headlines. My name is Elena. Today is Tuesday, April 13th. Miss Snyder's class created their own avatars on Pixton.com to celebrate their whole class coming together yesterday. Check this out. Looking good, second graders. Miss Barbieri's fourth graders filled up the fishbowl with their stars behavior and voted on Fort Building Day. Fun was had by all. Here is the evidence. Great job using your stars in the classroom, fourth graders. Now it's time for the weather. Here's the forecast for Wednesday. Tomorrow will turn out to be a coldy day with an afternoon with a cloudy day with a few afternoon showers. Expect a steady rain later in the evening. The high temperature will be 63 degrees and the low will be 45 degrees. Here are some important announcements. Congratulations to Ms. Parr's 5th graders who read 7,803 minutes and Ms. Torbert's 2nd graders who read 4,572 minutes during the month of March for Saturnia Reads. Our school total is 406,738 minutes, 39 minutes. Don't forget to report your minutes to your teacher. Tomorrow is our school dance fit. We can't wait. It will be at 9.55 a.m. Over to you, Starlin. Thanks, Selena. Here's what's cooking in the cafeteria. For today, for breakfast, the Citronia Cafe will be serving egg and cheese on an English muffin or a bagel and cream cheese. Breakfast includes your choice of fruit, juice, and milk. For lunch today, you have a choice of mozzarella sticks with spaghetti sauce or turkey and cheese on a pretzel bun. Vegetables, fruit, and milk will be served. It's birthday time. We have no birthdays today, but tomorrow... Andrew, Kay, in fifth grade will be turning a year older. Happy, happy birthday, Andrew. And now for your dance fit update. Good morning, Hedgehogs. Let's do the Sports City Now cheer on three. Ready? One, two, three. Sports City Now. Woohoo! Today, we're going to learn about celebration. Students, welcome back to Sports City Now. Let's do the cheer on the count of three. One, two, three. Sports City Now. Great. Remember, we have to help the Sports City Now team do everything they can to save the show. Yesterday, we learned about grit by watching a mini documentary about Cal, the Ninja Warrior. We're one step closer to saving the show, but Today brings a whole new challenge. Let's see what happens next. Diego, I was thinking, after we finally do save the show, we should expand our dressing room. Yeah, and come to think of it, I need a new suit. Something that really pops. 
just got off the phone with the network. They said we need to run more of these stories if we have any chance of saving the show. Relax, Gabby. We got plenty more magical packages with stories. Right, Kenneth? Nope. This is the last one. Kenneth, what do you mean? Just check the mailroom. This is definitely the last package. But there are plenty of bagels. If we don't have any more stories, what are we gonna do? I have zero clue. But I have a feeling this last one is going to be a fantastic story. Meet Kathy. A 14-year-old volleyball player from Boston, Massachusetts. I've been playing volleyball since I was 11 years old. For the past three years, I've been playing as a setter for my school team, the Point Webster Navigators. If you've ever watched a volleyball game before, you'll notice one thing players do after every single play. They celebrate. To me, celebrating others means telling other people that you're proud of them because of something they did or who they are. On her team, Kathy sees herself as the chief celebrator, the player who celebrates the most. Every time they score a point, they come together as a team, high five, and congratulate each other. Kathy says encouraging things like, Great play! Or, Let's do this! On the court, celebration has the power to change the game. This one time, my team and I were losing to another team, and we were getting pretty frustrated. Our energy was low, and we needed some momentum. I knew I needed to encourage my team. I told them, we can do this. Let's play hard every point. Little by little, we start to come back, and eventually, we won. Off the court, celebration has the power to change lives. To celebrate others well, you have to start by noticing their strengths. What are your friends and classmates good at? What makes them unique and special? Then, find creative ways to celebrate them. It may be a surprise party, an encouraging note, or even a high five and a you're awesome. To me, celebration is all about joyfully expressing appreciation for others. I'm Kathy and I play with Celebration. Whoa, did you see the way playing volleyball taught Kathy how to celebrate others? Like she said, Celebrating others means telling other people that you're proud of them because of something they did or who they are. When we take the time to honor others, we make them feel loved and appreciated. We're challenging you to celebrate others, especially your parents, teachers, and classmates. To celebrate others well, you have to start by noticing their strengths. What are your friends and classmates good at? What makes them unique and special? Then find creative ways to celebrate them. It may be a surprise party, an encouraging note, or even a high five and a you're awesome. If you can do that, everyone say celebration. Our sports adventure continues. Remember, there is just one day left to register on funrun.com for Saturnia's Dance the Event. It is free and easy to do. We are so close to reaching our school's goal, but we still need everybody's help. Tonight is the last night to help pledges to help our school. Everyone say, we can do it. <laughs> That's right. If you have not registered yet, ask a grown-up to register you tonight on funrun.com and help us by getting two new pledges. Let's keep thinking about new people who could help our school. Your grandparents, aunts, and uncles, family, friends, and neighbors, you can do it. Have a great day. That's the news for today. Catch us live Thir huh? Thursday morning at 8.50 a.m. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, our service promise, and our bully bu Bullying Prevention Pledge. After the pledge, your teacher will lead you in a mindful moment. 